Hello everyone! In the previous videos I have shown a reusable function that what could write call Cypress commands and call them recursively until a predicate function returns true. So I was happy with its API and now I have decided to publish it on npm. So I created this package called Cypress Recurse. It's published, you can use it already. According to the readme, you just install it as npm package using npm or yarn. In the readme, I show the basic example. It's the same API as I shown in this video. You import the recurse function and then you give at least two arguments. The first one should return a Cypress chain of commands. In this case, I'm doing the same thing. I'm calling Cytask. And then you give a predicate. The predicate takes a value from the chain of commands and returns a true fee value. Once it's true, we will stop the recursion. You can pass options like log, timeout, limit and timeout, but these are all optional. You don't have to provide anything. If you look at the source, it's just a JavaScript with JS docs tool, just like I explained, that gives the types. The only change that I've done was in recurse option type, I'll, I made every property required. Now, when you are a user, you don't want to require every property. So when specifying in the function itself, the type of parameter options, I use TypeScript partial decorator, which means take this type recurse option and make every property optional. I also took the defaults and I created an object out of them. So it's not hard coded in line with function, but it's a separate object that uses Cypress config default command timeout for default timeout. And I export that options object defaults separately. So that if you want to see it or use it yourself in your spec code, you can. For example, in my spec, I import that recurse default and I run a quick test to make sure it contains only the keys that I expected. I publish this npm package using a GitHub Actions workflow, where I check out the code, I run Cypress GitHub Action that runs the test. And then I use this semantic release passing GitHub token and npm token to publish it on npm. As a last thing, I use renovate bot. So I will keep Cypress and semantic release packages up to date by automatically opening pull requests and merging them if that's passed to make sure it works. Inside the readme, you can find a badge. Let me show the preview that CI is passing renovate app is working and the latest version of cypress that this repo is using itself i keep this patch up to date using a separate badges workflow that runs periodically updates the badge in the readme and if it has been updated pushes the readme back so that the users and me myself can see if this package has been tested against the latest version 